Today we've got a magical video in store for you guys because the Owl Post just arrived and it came all the way from Brazil. That's right, we've got our first of two Arthur Bandiera pieces and I am super excited to share it. And the worst part is, it's a mystery which one I'm opening, so I don't know. It's either going to be Night Bus Bookends or the Boggart Cabinet, but I'm not sure which one it is, so stick around and find out with me. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry, and, my name's Susan. and welcome to The Potter Addict. Guys, I have said this name quite a few times on this channel, but if you have not yet gone out and checked him out, you are, are missing out completely, because Arthur Bandiera is an absolutely amazing artist, and the work that he does for Harry Potter related items is bar none the best I've seen. He is amazing and getting on his commission list is quite a difficult feat because he's a busy guy and so about a year ago I managed to get uh, get on the waiting list and then he reached out to me and said I'm ready for you and said are you still interested and I would not pass up an opportunity ever to get an Arthur Bandiera piece so I said absolutely and here we are. So I have two of two things coming from him, and this one is number one. I don't have any idea what it is, because as you can see, it's just a plain wrapped box here. Uh, I've got some cute little owl post stickers and some postage, and then there is a little uh, Hogwarts acceptance letter with his Arthur Bandiera's wax seal stamp on it. So we're going to start with the letter. And we're going to open this Owl up. Post. Actually, here, let's just pull the whole letter off. I'm trying not to damage the packaging because it's so beautiful. He does such a great job. We'll slide that over here and let's pop this off. There's his Can wax seal. That? The wax seal. There you go. And this one is, okay, so it's basically the certificate of authenticity for both pieces that I bought. And the night bus is... The second one he's done so there's only this is one of two that he's made which is absolutely amazing and then the boggart cabinet is this is the fourth one he's done so guys i mean you talk about limited edition i mean i'm absolutely excited to open these he's got his little card in here as well uh, for for him i mean guys i can't say this enough you will not be disappointed at what he has. I mean, the, the things that are on his page are amazing. The, the creations he's come up with. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to inform you that you are now the owner of a unique handmade magical piece. Thank you for waiting for so long and so patiently. I know it took a long time, but it is finally here. I hope it's everything you wished it was. When you... When you trusted me to make this piece and invited me into your personal collection you gave me a chance to work doing what i love i put that love and dedication back into this piece as a way of thanking you for your trust i hope you enjoy your piece and that it will have not only a place in your collection but also in your heart sincerely arthur bandier yeah guys I have one piece currently in my collection from him. That is the um, the Slain Basilisk, which is phenomenal. You set that over there for me. And this is number two and soon to be number three on its way. Now, the other tricky part is opening these up because they are most of the time very fragile. They came all the way from Brazil. Um, or South America. I'm not 100% sure if it's Brazil exactly, but I think I think I remember that's where it's coming. That came from, but uh, South America nonetheless. And I would hate for it to take that journey and then open this up the wrong way. So it looks like we are going to just destroy the brown paper here. So we're going to take the brown paper off because I want to make sure I'm opening this box the right way. All right, and. 
that way I am not responsible for damaging something I've been waiting on for so long. So I'll peel this paper down. There we go. It looks All like right. it's from, um, yeah. There we go. And then I'm fairly certain it looks like we just opened the top here, so we're going to cut into this. I don't see any other direction saying open here first. So yeah, so we're going top. So we're going to go top. It is top. Oh, I'm super excited. I am not going to be disappointed for either piece. For either piece. I, I already know this. But I am hoping, hoping that this is the, the boggart. Um, I have been eagerly awaiting that one far longer. And nope. We got the bookends, but okay. But again, like I said, there is no, there's no loss here. Either way, this is going to be absolutely amazing because guys, this, this work is stunning. And we're going to pull these out separately. Yeah. Cause there's two. So that's how I know for sure. It's the bookends. We'll stand these upright, be gentle with them. Let's get this box out of here. And now we'll slide these over here. And we'll open up, oh, I think they, they might be, oh no, they're just stuck together, not actually glued together. Um, I kind of want to lay, oh, yeah, I want to lay it down. It makes me nervous. It feels like it's teetering. So so now we got to do a little plastic wrap here that we'll pull off. He definitely has these packaged up very well so that, I mean, it would take a, a small disaster for these to, to not make it here in one piece. I say that. Um, I'm hoping not, that I'm not jinxing myself, so, um, but I don't think, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here, because, I mean, he's got layers uh, upon layers of, of actual wrap and, and, um, and the, and the uh, plastic wrap and the, 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 the actual um, air, air packaging. Layers. Wait till you see this, buddy. This is going to. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, I can't wait. And he's just in time because I was in the process of getting ready to re redo my my shelf for the um, for the Prisoner of Azkaban. So these will look fantastic on an Azkaban shelf for sure. Oh, is this like the Angry Book? That no, 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 no. This is this is these are the the Night Bus. Remember, I oh. told you about the the Night Bus that's coming. Oh, these are going to look so great. So we're getting closer. We're getting closer, guys. So now we got another layer of plastic wrap. Bear with me here. I'm, again, I'm, I'm being super cautious just because I don't want to be responsible for anything happening to these after, after the length of time that I've been waiting for these because, I mean, they're, they're super amazing. Super amazing. And, guys, I don't know about you, but I... I love finding some of the creators that are out there that make that make products. And I, I the last video we did was for um, KR 3D um, Fantastic Prints, and they they're you know they're 3D printers that they that they do their products with. I mean, great great pieces, um, very very affordable pieces, good additions for any collection, um, but. This particular particular gentleman, I mean, just does the most detailed, beautiful things. Things that you would walk into a store and be awestruck over. And they are, again, so limited and so beautiful and so well done. Um, I could not, if I was a rich man, he would be on complete retainer making, making me products all of the time. Because oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous that is. If somebody, so that is, if somebody oh, if ahead. somebody was right here, what would like? Oh, it's it's a magical bus. You know, it it gets small, it gets thin. Remember in the in the theme where it's it gets real skinny and hairy shrinks with it. It's it. magic. It's magic, guys. There are two of these, but I got I got to show you the first one before we break into the second one because gosh, it's so amazing. So, I mean. Inside the bus, he's got curtains across the windows. The bus is absolutely immaculate. It is folding down underneath this archway as it's as it's making its way along its journey. 
It says all destinations, nothing underwater in the back. Um, I mean, this thing is amazing. The wrought iron railings that are beside the actually, yeah, just don't touch. They're really, really fragile. I mean, the the stonework around the, the archway. I mean, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. So amazing. I will not be using this as a bookend, but I will, I will be making sure that this has a prominent display um, in my, in my collection. So I've got a, I've got a plan for it back there in the, uh, on the Prisoner of Azkaban shelf for sure. It's a bookend. The, the books go in between it. It holds it in place so they don't fall over. Like, just like the, 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 the Hogwarts, um, the yeah. entrance bookends over there. The hall. Yeah. The foot, yeah, the, the wing hogs, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, those those are bookends, and they just basically hold your books and, you know, so keep them from falling over. So I when I saw these, these, in my opinion, were an absolute must-have. Um, the only thing higher on my want list was the um, the, the bogger cabinet. I absolutely love that bogger cabinet. Um, when, and wait till you guys see it. It's it's absolutely amazing. The, the just the the creativity that went behind it because it's not something that you're going to find ever i mean it's it's not a um it's not a you know a an at your average piece it's creepy i and i absolutely love it i mean they've got you know uh, the jack-in-the-box clown popping out of, or hiding behind the the glass and the door for the Boggart cabinet i mean it is stunning and some people are a little creeped out by it i think it is amazing uh, it is just, again, like I said, um, something that came from his mind, something he created um, that I've never seen before, and I fell in love with it instantly. Uh, it was something I knew I had to have, and when he put these out there, I I reached out to him immediately and said, if there's any chance, I would definitely like to get on the list for a set of these bookends, because these are amazing as well. That's the front of the bus. Yes, that's the front of the bus. Oh, are we keeping you up? Are you okay? You're going to be able to make it through the, through this video? We didn't get you enough sugar in your in your day, I guess. You know, a little extra coffee tomorrow, uh, the next time we do a video? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think of this one so far? This one. Uh-huh. This one. Um, I like the railings. You like the railings? Yeah. The little, well, you like small little tiny details, I know, and, so. And I like the um, suitcases back there. Yeah, yeah, they've got, he's got suitcases, he's they, got so much detail. What like, else? He even made stairs that actually go up to the second floor. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, he doesn't miss. He doesn't skimp on the details. They, he pours so much in, and it's so beautifully done. I mean, it literally looks like, oh gosh, I, I mean, seriously, guys. I can't give you enough how amazing the the artwork is on these things. There's They're another. absolutely stunning. So let's take a look at the front end. I mean, again, you've got such amazing detail of the bus. I mean, you've got the, the night bus sign on the front, the grill, the headlights. You've got the little, you know, the little uh, dray head floating in the, in the window. You've got... You know, you've got the bus coming, warping out from behind again. The, I wish the, you did, um, showed all of them. All of all the people inside. Yeah. Oh, that's... No, not not all the people, all the heads. Oh no, there's only one in the bus. Or only one. It's the door to the um, uh, uh, the three broomsticks that has the multiple heads that were hanging oh. there. Close the door, you know. <laughs> so, but um, I mean, absolutely amazing. I love. I, I mean, I love it, guys. And my favorite part is seeing them, I mean, together. together. Because, I mean, it's going in one side of the tunnel and out the other side. And it looks spectacular how it kind of bends down to, to make its way through. I mean, it's the magical night bus, you know? I mean, guys, this, in my opinion, is absolutely spectacular. And I will give you guys... He even has his bead on yeah, his hair. Yeah, yeah. I will give you guys the spin arounds of them separately so you can appreciate the detail and then together so you can appreciate the detail because I mean again guys he there it lines up perfectly. I mean it, it is if you take and you flip these look at they line up exactly. I mean it is perfect in every way shape and form. 
So happy, so happy, I can't tell you enough to have these in my collection. These are statement pieces. When you are a Harry Potter fan, and like I am, when you're an addict, when you, you crave something new or original or unique for your collection, these are the pieces that you want. I mean, they absolutely are stunning because you're not walking into a store and purchasing these. You're not, you know, reach going to Amazon and adding it to your cart. These are unique and very, very rare. And they are probably my favorite pieces in my collection for sure. I mean, I have some amazing pieces, don't get me wrong. Gentle Giant, Iron Studios, you know, I mean, there are some amazing pieces in my collection, but these, I mean, these are absolutely stunning and they come from somebody's mind. I mean, this came from Arthur's mind, his own creation. He put this all, brought this all to life. Fantastic. Arthur, thank you so much. I am definitely going to be adding more of your pieces in the future. Um, I just got to save up a little bit of money because, <laughs> because um, you know, 2023 was a crazy year. We the, the attic went a little crazy. Uh, 2024 has been a little bit more reserved, but not not much, not much. I mean, there's definitely been a, a lot of expensive ads. So, um, but these are worth every penny of what I paid, and I feel like they were a steal in my opinion. Yeah, Bob. Um, there's two de details. Uh -huh. I like the curtains. Yeah, the curtains are are fantastic and looking. I can literally see the second story from. From, from underneath? Yeah. Can you really? Let me look. It's really dark, but I can see it. Oh, up, up in there? No, 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 from the stairs. Oh, from the stairs. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, man, yeah, it's so dark, I can't see that at all. But, I, I mean, can't. but this looks just like the night bus when, you, when you're at Universal. The back of the night bus, I mean, it's, it's identical. I mean, you've got the little doorway going in, you've got the stairs going up and the luggage there. It's fantastic, fantastic, guys. And, I mean... Literally, I could not be happier than to have this as part of my collection. Now, I have got to finish that uh, that display for for the um, for the Prisoner of Azkaban shelf because I definitely want to get these in there and figure out a place so they are prominently displayed and can be seen clearly. Um, I still got the Boggart cabinet, which I'm waiting to finish that display until I have the Boggart cabinet because I just want to make sure for scale purposes I get everything just right so that shelf looks perfect because two Bandiera pieces on one, on one shelf... That's uh, That might be a showstopper of a shelf. That's all I can tell you. So, guys, I need you to comment below because this one is worth the comments. I mean, you got to tell me below what you think. I mean, these pieces, by the way, I didn't mention this, but they're not... They're not cheap pieces, like cheaply made, poor quality or whatever. No, the the oh. the the weight of them is good. I mean, there's substantial weight on these. I mean, they're. I mean, it looks like it was. The bottom looks like it was it, it, wood. That's like a wood base. The piece looks like it's stone. It feels like it's got that quality of material in here as well. The bus has good. I mean, has a good feel, a good solid feel to it. I mean, it is high, high quality. So comment below your thoughts, guys. Is this something that you would add to your collection? I think you'd be crazy not to want this as part of your collection, but I mean, maybe night bus isn't your thing. I, I don't know. This is spectacular, spectacular. And I cannot wait to open up that Boggart cabinet. I don't think there's going to be a uh, a break. I think the next video, uh, as long as it arrives, <laughs> will will definitely be another Bandiera video because I want that Boggart cabinet badly. I want to open that up and share. But this one is a fantastic addition. So let me know your thoughts again. But we're to that point where... Well, do you have something? Yeah. What? What about uh, um, you, you, Do you see the stairs? Uh-huh, the um, stairs. Oh, I thought those were suitcases. Right? Oh, you thought they were stacked suitcases that yeah. went up for stairs? Yeah, no, the suitcases to the side, I, steps on the other I wish, side. I wish the night bus didn't have stairs. I wish they had... Um, it was just suitcases stacked, yeah, like, yeah. For, for, like for the for the effect. Yeah. So, but we're to that point, guys, where I need you to click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, give us both a great big thumbs up, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram and TikTok too. 
Guys, the, um, the only reason I recommend Instagram and TikTok is because YouTube has a limitation of a minute for shorts. And I do some shorts that just eke over that minute mark. Um, I did a, a fun one the other day with Sports Center about Quidditch um, that I can't put here because I'll cut out some great stuff that I don't want to cut out. So if if you're not an Instagram person or you're not a TikTok person, I get it. I completely get it. But there is some good content you guys might be missing out on. So if you get the opportunity, I mean, just take a peek, you know, check it out. See uh, if there's anything in there that you like. I try and share everything back and forth so I can capture everybody and I can share my joy with everybody, but not everything makes makes the YouTube's cut. So, but that is all I have. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to share a very magical moment with Searson and I. But until next time, all, all you wizards, wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical. magical.